Hey everyone, Jason here. Welcome to my knot channel. In this video, we're going to have a look at the blood knot. The blood knot is a type of knot that's used to join two ropes together. Specifically, it's most commonly used as a fishing knot, used to tie two similar diameter monofilament lines together. Another similar knot that you might want to check out is the fisherman's bend. I'll provide a link in the description and in the card up above. To tie the blood knot in a regular rope, you'll need a substantial amount of working line. Cross your right rope over your left rope. With your right rope, make at least four wrapping turns around the left rope. For this demonstration, I'm using two thicker ropes to tie the blood knot so that it's easier to see how it's tied. Bring your working end back to where the two ropes cross and then hold them all firmly. When we made the first wrapping turns with the first rope, we did them in a clockwise direction. Now we'll make wraps with our left rope in a counterclockwise direction. And we'll make the same number of wraps as we did with the first rope. Now pass the working end through the middle of the knot, beside the opposing rope, and threaded in the opposite direction. Once it's through, you can cinch up everything tight. If you're tying the blood knot with a monofilament fishing line, you can lubricate the line and simply pull on the standing parts to cinch it up, similar to this action. However, with thicker ropes, there's too much friction and you can't lubricate the line. And when you try to just pull the ends, they simply won't slide. So it's best to take a bit of time and cinch up each part. Also, if you're tying the knot with fishing line, when you're finished, you can trim away the extra ends close to the knot. But for a utility knot, of course, this isn't necessary. Let's have another look. This time, I'll tie the blood knot with some paracord. Again, with the paracord, I make a series of wrapping turns with the right cord, and then bring the end to the center and hold everything tight. Then I make wrapping turns with the left cord and thread the end through the center in the opposite direction. Once everything's in place, I can now cinch everything up tight. And that's the blood knot. If you'd like to see other ways to tie two ropes together, then here's a link to my video, 24 Essential Ways to Tie Two Ropes Together. I hope you check it out, and thanks for watching.